No cameras or recording devices allowed inside the court to capture Scott Peterson's most recent appearance, but these courtroom sketches show a masked Peterson appearing by video call from San Quentin, waiving his right to a speedy trial, specifically the penalty phase of his trial. So what we did today was we waived time so that the death penalty retrial will be put after the judge's decision on whether or not there will be a full retrial. The California Supreme Court ruled jury selection in the death penalty phase wasn't handled properly by the presiding judge, so back it goes to Superior Court in San Mateo County. Also to be decided, a habeas petition on whether Peterson gets a new trial altogether based on what California Supreme Court determined was juror misconduct in Peterson's original trial. Peterson attorney Pat Harris will handle the retrying of the penalty phase. And he's excited to get the opportunity to finally have go back into court and get to talk about some of the things that we feel like should have been discussed in the first case. And I think this time, hopefully, there will be some changes. There'll be some things that are different. Peterson's sister-in-law, who's long maintained she believes he's innocent, talked about the case being back in the legal system. So we're ready. So whether it's a penalty phase or whether it's a whole new trial, uh, we're looking forward to it. The penalty phase issue is set for a status hearing on January 21st of next year. Meanwhile, a teleconference hearing is set for Monday of next week when it will be considered whether Peterson should get a new trial altogether. Reporting from San Mateo County, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.